If you're a patron, maybe you already know about this. Um, I've even dropped hints on my social links uh, gauging your interest in this, but I want to make my own decorative paper with my own pattern designs on them, stuff you can use in your book projects or any paper crafts. Some of you said any size would be fine, some of you said smaller, some of you said bigger, so I think a letter size would be a good middle. So I found a little bit of a problem with the paper I just printed. Um, I was doing some tests last night. I was cutting up the paper and just seeing like how it acted when I punched holes through it. All the stuff that people might do with it because I want it to be craft paper. I also found out that glue doesn't stick to it, which is not ideal. It's not glossy, it's not coated, but it definitely is like a kind of slick texture that that does make it more durable. I even ran this under water and water just slides off of it, which is cool if you want to turn this into a book cover. I'm happy with the print quality. Um, that came out good, right? The colors are right. Just um, need some different paper, maybe a different printing. This was a good exercise in figuring things out. Glad I did it before I made a fool of myself and tried to sell this. I am on a few print-on-demand sites, which I'll link below, and Zazzle was the only one that I found where you could actually sell your own custom flat paper sheets at a decent price. They also have different size and paper options, which gives you guys, or the customers, the ability to choose what they want without me having to buy extra inventory and not knowing if it would sell. Honestly, I don't have much experience using this site, so I asked you guys what you thought and your experience Thank you very much for your feedback on my community post. For the most part, you guys seem to be happy with their quality and their products, so I wanted to give it a try. When I purchased a few test sheets, I saw that they have their own shipping program, which is kind of like Amazon Prime, but you can get unlimited standard shipping for just 83 cents a month. I thought that was pretty good, so I actually signed up for it. The real test will be if this can actually glue to things and I can actually use it in my projects. I went with the 80 pound mat, which has a little bit of texture to it, which I think will help stick to things. And it actually did work with my extra strength glue stick. If I go this route of selling on Zazzle, I don't get to keep as much of the profit of selling my artwork on things, but it is a lot less of a headache because I don't have to buy a bunch of inventory to keep costs low but then not know if it sells and I don't have to worry about the headache of shipping because that's kind of a nightmare right now for small businesses. I also wouldn't have to buy a bunch of shipping supplies and I feel like it would be less limiting as a creative because I have a lot of pattern designs and I could put them all in this Zazzle shop instead of just picking a few to print because that's all I could afford to do. And something else I found kind of irritating is there's an order minimum with other print sites. I would have to order 50 at the least, but through here I could literally just order one sheet if I wanted to. That would be nice so I could have it on hand for projects I plan to do and it would also be nice for you guys because you could just pick and choose which patterns you want to print. It just frees up a lot more options for me and for you. So here you can see I tested it out on a book project and I, th I am just relieved that it actually sticks to paper and board. And I think the quality is just as good as the other printers. So I think I'm going to sell my decorative paper through the Zazzle shop, at least for now. And if you want to follow it, I'll link it down below. Just know there's nothing in it right now. So it's totally blank. I haven't uploaded all the designs to it yet. And when I do, I'll make an official video on my main channel 
and go over some of the print samples and sizes. If you guys have any input on Zazzle or want to just suggest anything about making scrapbook or decorative paper, leave it in the comments below. I always love reading your feedback and I will see you guys either on the next vlog or my main channel. Bye!